welcome everyone to another JDM Racing video. This time it's round 13 at the Hungara Ring in Hungary. And we are on board for a qualifying lap in Q1 as we ride the curbs there. Seeing if we can sustain a charge against Alpine and the other surrounding teams in the championship. Uh, see if we can get anywhere close to that top 10. Ideally, uh, we'd like to be up there ready for the race. Let's see what we post as we come over the line. 11th place as it stands. So we didn't go out again. It ended up being Carlos Sainz on pole position. Provisional pole at least for Q1. Ferrari looking quick. Max Verstappen up there also. And we are down the back with our teammate. Not enough pace for Q1. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Carlos Sainz, and Norris. Perez, Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, and Esteban Ocon. Gasly, Magnussen, Yuki Tsunoda, and Joe. Mick Schumacher, Albon, Valtteri Bottas, and Gardner. Stroll, Vettel, Latifi and Oscar Piastri. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And with me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. We should talk about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So the formation lap is underway here in Hungary. The front runners will want to get themselves prepared for the race ahead as they can expect to be attacked through the first two corners when the lights go out. And they'll need to survive those in order to kickstart what they hope is a promising race. All right, so 18th and 22nd, we have our work cut out for us. And I think, with, especially with this track <coughs> being like the... Uh, the second most twistiest and difficult to overtake other than Monaco. Uh, I think turn one is going to be a, a good opportunity to take cars uh, and try and get up the field. But um, yeah, if, if qualifying is an indication of what our ultimate pace is, then we're going to struggle big time. Don't think the car is suited to these twisty street tracks, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll... Uh, pull one out of the bag like we have done for the rest of the season. So a crazy start there. We initially get bogged down, but then we go real late on the brakes, almost torpedoing into a bunch of cars. There was no real clear air there. Replay of the start then. Hamilton and Leclerc on the front row. And it seems like Hamilton gets a pretty decent start. He comes down the inside of Leclerc into turn one. 
does he get it to he's got the line can he get it to stick without the DRS on lap one Leclerc has to tuck in to second place so Lewis Hamilton leads on lap one from Charles Leclerc George Russell and Max Verstappen So at this point in the race we have surprised ourselves a little bit, we've been making good progress moving forwards, picking our spots, trying not to uh, t try and take positions when it's not really on and uh, just playing the long game really and uh, making sure that we, when we make a move we commit to it and stick and that seems to be paying us back uh, as we go for a big lunge, take a good chunk of kerb, almost two wheels on the grass there trying to get around Ricardo and around the outside which will become the inside for the next corner and we've got him and now we commence the chase on the next car Meanwhile, back at the front, George Russell chasing down Leclerc for second place on the medium tyre as well. So it's a possibility that the soft is starting to get to that switchover point where the, uh, the medium might be required now. But uh, George Russell battling it out round the corners. Now got the line. Leclerc's not going to give this one up easy, though. To the front with Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton leading the race on those soft tyres and coming into the pit lane so as we thought about with Russell almost getting around Leclerc, uh, Mercedes and Ferrari and Max Verstappen in the background there in the Red Bull they've all decided to pit and get off those softs and get onto the medium tyre so Hamilton Leclerc and Verstappen as you were no real changes there pit stops were all pretty much similar and they are going to tuck back in and try and outpace Russell okay 
be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip any time now. Box box for coming in this lap. Getting ready for our pit stop then to get off these soft tyres. Alonso continues, being as he's on the medium tyre. So we're just trying to race the other soft runners at this stage. And no problems there. 2.7 seconds. Tyre stop was pretty good. And we are clear to go till the end. We're now going to chase down this McLaren. And hopefully, if we're in the right place at the right time, we might be able to take on Alonso, uh, depending on how quickly we can go on these fresh mediums, as opposed to when he changes onto the softs. So we spent a couple of laps chasing Landon Norris in that McLaren, but it just seems like he's too quick. I mean, we're changing and exchanging sector times. Uh, so it seems like we're quicker in certain uh, sectors of the track and Norris is quicker in others. So it feels like at certain points we're catching him up and getting under two seconds. And then at other points it opens back up to two and two and a half seconds. So it's a real... Uh, real pain to try and uh, close up but we may just have to consolidate this position there are still the front runners who need to pit uh, Russell and Alonso so we'll see where we come out compared to them when they pit 0.7 seconds speaking of which we rejoin race leader George Russell and we follow him around to the entry to the pit lane. Mercedes having a strong weekend here with Hamilton having led the race earlier on. Russell going quite long and they're putting the hard tyre on so they don't fancy the soft. They're going from a medium to a hard. I'm not sure if that's the right strategy call but that's what Mercedes have gone for and Russell will rejoin where does he come out? So the Ferrari there. Oh, Charles Leclerc just gets round. And Max Verstappen looks like with already warmed up tyres, those mediums, he gets around Russell. So Russell has lost a couple of places there on those cold, hard tyres. And Hamilton still leads. So it's Hamilton, Leclerc, Verstappen, Russell, and Russell was lost out there by going long. As we predicted, Alonso, who's gone even a lap longer than George Russell in the Alpine, comes in, pits from the lead of the race, and is banked on going extremely long as the optimum strategy. Alonso rejoins, and he's gone on the hard tyre as well. Let's use overtake and throw off some of this energy.
having settled in for a couple of laps, uh, I was a little bit worried at the time about Alonso's pace, but that hard tyre just does not seem to have any pace in it. So over the last couple of laps, we've just kept building and expanding on that gap okay, so back to Alonso. Piastri is nowhere, as our engineers just informed us. And we're looking to still try and close down Norris, but it's just so difficult because the McLaren seems very competitive around here. And we can't make the kind of gains that we were in the first uh, half of the race. And uh, so it looks more like we're just going to be settling for what we've got, uh, managing the gap back to Alonso and uh, trying to position ourselves if anything does happen up the front then we're there to pick up the pieces but uh, it, it's more about car conservation and uh, making sure we don't make any mistakes and uh, slip up and slip back down the field at this stage of the race. Our gap to the car in front is 2.2 seconds. And while our situation with Norris and Alonso is unfolding Pierre Gasly has been overtaken by Daniel Ricciardo for that last points paying position Daniel Ricciardo slip streaming with the DRS going around the outside breaking late in turn one and with Norris having such a strong race Ricciardo trying to make it a double points situation for McLaren and it looks like he's got that done so McLaren looking strong at the Hungara ring What a drive, mate. Fantastic weekend all round. Really, really solid. Well done, mate. Great job, Bono. Great job, everyone. They're going back to the factory. What a, what a weekend. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. after that one a great race and a real team performance to take victory here in Hungary so Natalie what do you think helped them deliver this result I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was speed it sounds like an awfully reductive statement but fast cars win races and we saw that today with our winner After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Lewis Hamilton then, standing on the top step of the podium for the first time this season. George Russell did win in Monaco, and Hamilton came second that day, but he's not managed to get a win until now. But what a drive at the front, seeing off Leclerc, who has been extremely fast all season really and uh, Mercedes have got something 
in the street tracks. The, their car seems to suit it. And uh, what a fantastic result today. All right then, results time. Lewis Hamilton wins the race and takes fastest lap. 26 points maximum that he could manage. Leclerc and Verstappen, the two championship protagonists, they are rounding out the podium. Russell couldn't quite get his strategy to work. He finishes fourth. Perez not on the same level as Verstappen. He comes home fifth. Same with Sainz. He was sixth. Couldn't match Leclerc's pace either. Lando Norris, fantastic drive. And coming home seventh, kept us at bay. And uh, we battled Alonso, uh, kept him at bay. And then Ricardo managing to get in front of Gasly. Not really much else to report on other than the fact that Piastri could not really do much apart from not finish last that result means that Carlos Sainz's lead at the top is slashed and uh, Leclerc and Verstappen closing in Mercedes uh, get a good clutch of points to pull away from McLaren and uh, Ferrari just managed to stay in front of Red Bull so we get a decent clutch of points it was a fun race for the first half at the very least uh, and then more about consolidation in the second half. But all in all, a good weekend. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.